short informational video about motion analysis within the physical therapy setting. My name is Jeff Frame and I am the biomechanics lab manager here at Midwest Health Strategies Motion Analysis Lab. Um, this is a collaboration between Ball State University and Midwest Health Strategies. In the next couple of minutes I'm going to take you on a tour through the lab and show you some of the different components and how it relates to the data that we capture and how it's used in the physical therapy setting. Well, welcome to the lab. As you can see, our lab is a very large, empty space. It doesn't look like much to the first uh, observers, but as you can see, it's a very large room, high ceilings, and that's necessary for the placement of our motion capture cameras. That you can see the red cameras up above, all the way around the perimeter of the room. That's needed for to make sure that we get good camera angles, because all the motion that we capture, the data is in a volume right here. So as you can tell, all the cameras are pointed into one very distinct area. Um, the cameras are basically mini computers. They do all of the calculations for us in the 3D um, representation of the marker systems that we'll show you in a little bit uh, on a patient. <clears throat> they collect all the data, send it to our computers, and then that's what we go through and do the processing of the data and put it into reports. Another uh, aspect of a biomechanics lab are force plates. And as you can see down here, we have two force plates within our laboratory. And what these are are very sophisticated scales. They're going to tell us how much force is generated in three different orientations. You're going to have your Z-force, or your vertical ground reaction force. You're going to have a Y-force, which is that shearing force going back and forth. And then also an X, which is a medial lateral force. And we use that data to then calculate uh, moments and the powers of particular joints. Uh, another facet of information that we can gather, gather in our lab is through EMG, which is measuring muscle activity. There's surface, EM, there's surface electrodes that we put on the muscle, and that will then tell us you know, the electrical output of a muscle and the on-off patterns of a particular muscle, which aids physical therapists um, during their rehab knowing how the muscles are working and firing and what treatment patterns are going to be best for them. Um, some of the other features that we have within our lab, as you can see the big net over here, this is a, it's made for golf, but we can do a lot of different things with it. Um, basically, that net enables us to capture pretty much all activities because if you were to kick a soccer ball or throw a baseball pitch or, or hit a baseball, spike a volleyball, all those types of things, you know, in conjunction with hitting a golf ball can be captured with the net because it prevents the balls from flying around and hitting uh, the cameras. Uh, we have a treadmill where we can do running gait assessment over here. Another aspect that we have is bicycle fitting. And so we have the ability to do that 3D bicycle fitting with the technology we have here. You can also see over in the corner we have a bicycle ergometer and a metabolic cart. So this allows us to do metabolic testing uh, within the laboratory as well. As you can see, there are many different things that we can do here within our lab, and this was just kind of a brief introduction to seeing what are the different things that are out there and available to uh, the physical therapy uh, profession.